take a look at the exterior. This is the mineral gray color, brown interior with black. Looks very, very good. Uh, also, it got the M package. You don't have the full LED that you can see on the 340i, uh, but still, mind you, the day running lights, LEDs, they look very good. The inside part of the grill is made from plastic black. The outside frame is, you know, in chrome. Now it's closed because the car is cooled down. Everything is okay. The engine doesn't need more cooling. If it needs more cooling, the, the flaps here, they will open basically all these flaps. They will go inside. I mean, they implemented that across all the different cars now. Those are the lights, very aggressive, LEDs. The front bumper is very good for the 30i. Very sporty though, I think. And I really like it. I love the lines as well on the bonnet. If you own the 3 series and look at this car, you believe this is the 5 series. If you did not see it for the first time. But the proportions are beautiful. It looks very good from the side. We have the 19 inches wheels as an option here. Pirelli P0 tires, 255 in the front and the back. They look very sporty though. Plastic outer part of the car. It's not frameless, but that's not a sports car. Look at the rear side window, how large it is. That means there's so much size in the back. This is the rims and it looks very good in my opinion. Integrated side skirts. You have 330i logo and the nice integrated lip. I wish this one is in carbon. They kept it for the higher end series. This is the biggest argument for the car that we've seen so far that the back is not very aggressive. Maybe the lights, they are not so BMW-ish for me. They look very Lexus, but they are 3D, you know what I mean? Look, they point outwards, you know, they're, they light very nice at night. You know, if you go a little bit far away, you would see the fenders of the car. The car is so much wider than before. Look at that angle here. You have a two tailpipes exhaust and they're large. The openings, you know, on the bottom, they are closed, they don't serve a purpose. They are just here for design, which is a shame. The diffuser, it's very plain, and I must say that, but it's really good design so far. I think you have to look at it from different angles in real life to appreciate how sporty is the standard or the base 3 Series now. Just unbelievable. So how does the new BMW 330i feels to drive? We're in comfort mode now. This is a 2019 model. It's totally brand new car from scratch, but they use the similar engines from the previous models. The first thing you notice when you get in this new 3 Series is how much the interior is improved. It's a huge step up, really, guys. The quality of the interior and the materials used, it's beautiful. And really, I'm very impressed with the way it looks. Also, you can put the seats very, very low and its driving positions is fantastic. I was so impressed, but I kept pressing the bottom and the seats kept going down and down and down. And this is the driving position. It's so sporty. The car feels sporty. We have the full M package here that costs around $5,000 or in Dubai, I believe almost 25,000 dirham. You'll get the M performance steering wheel, the seat belts from the competition package. You'll get, you know, a couple of highlights from the outside, you know, bigger rims, 19 inches rims, M Sports, uh, some batches, more aggressive front and back. And the car looks so good, actually, especially from the front and new grille integration, how they made it automatic. So the flaps open and close. It's very aggressive car. In Dubai, the car comes with only two engines. There is no diesel, just petrol. So you have the 330i, the four cylinder and 340i which is gonna be a really good car and it's not available yet even for media test drive or regular test drive so we have to wait and see before we judge the car so let's talk about some numbers because i'm really impressed with the performance the 330i comes with the four cylinder turbocharged producing around 255 brake horsepower at 5000 rpm you'll get the power you know pretty low and the torque is 400 Nm meters even with the numbers are down there I still feel that the inline 6 and the V8 are so much more responsive you know and so much more you know at you know aggressive this is where the car makes a huge difference because if you look at the power the previous car had 248 instead of 255 but the torque has been improved really tremendously it was 350 and now we said 400 there's no manual option for this car you can't get it in manual it's an A-speed auto. Uh, we like the auto here. We have tried it, you know, in many, many other cars from BMW as the M-Series, the X5. 
I have lots of good feedback about this nice transmission. And the car is lighter and more nimble because even it's grown in size and you can see it and notice it sometimes, but it's lighter because they use more aluminum. But what matters to me is always how the car feels and sounds and give you the engagement as a driver. There's so much positive stuff about this car, really. I'm really, really impressed. We're driving it in comfort now. It's super comfortable. The quality of the cabin for the three series, guys, it's just really, really good. I hear a little bit of tire noise, but there is no air noise, no vibration, no rattling in the cabin at all. It's super comfortable in the comfort mode, easy to live with, really, as a daily driver. And there's tons of space for a tall person, for a big person, and in the back too. Enough of that, let's put it in sport mode and right away to Sport Plus. That's four cylinder, it's really, really good. What BMW are doing now across all their new models, it's really fantastic. That's a basic 330i four cylinder and man, it goes so fast and it is so responsive and the grip is amazing. The electric steering wheel is precise. In Sports Plus mode, the engine, you know, RPM is always low. You get the gears much lower. First gear. Second. I know there are some people that are gonna start now complaining about the sound that it's, you know, channel through the speakers it doesn't matter guys it's a four cylinder turbocharged it's never gonna sound you know good even from the first place plus this is not a you know amp car so you're not gonna have a sports exhaust as an option when you will have the six cylinder 340 of course you're gonna have a sports exhaust but this is not the sports car this is just a regular daily driver sedan car but it's BMW and BMW cars are always sporty X drive, it's so good. Unlike others, you know, four wheel drive from different manufacturers, it doesn't really, you know, make you feel that you're driving, you know, a four wheel drive car. It's mostly rear wheel drive. It only uh, detects any slip from the front tires and other tires. It distributed the power perfectly nice. And you can feel it. It's very grippy. It gives you confidence. It doesn't understeer at all. And the speeds that I'm driving, I'm not going super, super fast, but I'm going fast enough. You know, you're not gonna track the car, you're not gonna go super crazy fast with this car anyways. If I compare this car to the A4 from Audi and the Mercedes C-Class, I would say C200, C300 in that case. This is so much better, so much sportier. And the new automatic gearbox, it's beautiful to live with, really, because you can put it in drive or you can push it to the left and then you can shift the gears manually using those pedals. I've always liked the pedals that BMW cars have. You know but not the new ones so much because the quality of the pedals are great they're made from aluminium there's no matte finish in the back unlike the m5 that we drove and the m series which is better for me but on the other hand they are not too tall this time they are a bit shorter but they are wider thicker in the sports plus you hear a hint of crackles when you lift off hint and sometimes i mean this is in brand new car so maybe it's gonna open up a little bit more with more mileage and the exhaust will sound better uh, time will tell the new gear shifter position is perfect as always BMW nail this part this is not the high-end uh, you know gear lever that you find on the x5 the crystal one or the M cars or the M5 which is the new M gear lever which is totally different but somehow they managed to share the same basic design if you want to I mean it's a bit boxier uh, you know with the column but it looks good it feels good in hands it's plastic a little bit to be honest uh, but you, ha you find some parts in I don't know if it's plastic or metal but for most part it's gonna be plastic but the position is great and I like the way that you can shift the gears yourself unlike many cars from Mercedes-Benz you can't do that because you're not able to shift the gears using that beautiful gear shifter that gives you a little bit you know you know of sense that you're driving manual modes <laughs> you know that you're controlling the cars you're shifting the gears yourself even 
you're not really doing that because automatic mode will tend to shift the gears for you if you are delaying or you are you know not shifting basically grip is great in this car really it's very bmw-ish i really like this car i'm really really impressed downshifts are great you know the whole combination of the engine the steering wheel the, the suspension that we have not mentioned much but it's very nice suspension it's very comfortable in the comfort mode and in sports mode it's not hard it's still more comfy than sporty but it absorbs the bumps and the imperfection in the road very very good and the body roll is almost none I mean, for the money that you're paying for this car, $40,000 now in USA, which is always going to be cheaper than us, in UAE and Dubai particularly, it's a bit more than that, can go to $48,000. But around 200,000 dirhams, you're really, you know, buying a very, very good package. That new steering wheel, guys, you know, the position is perfect. The cushion, the feeling for the steering wheel, absolutely beautiful. The engine is a masterpiece for the four-cylinder. I know they can tune it to make it a little bit more than that, but they didn't. They kept it basically at the lower horsepower and high torque. And I understand that they, because they can easily make it 300 plus horsepower. It's so difficult now to find some flaws in these new BMW cars because they are so well built, you know, the quality of the interior. And they always drive very good, but the quality now of the interior it's beautiful. The iDrive system is better than ever with the Apple CarPlay, gesture mode, the 12.3 inches instrumental cl digital cluster, the middle screen. It's beautiful now. It's big. It's super, super clear. So let's see the car how it sounds now. The head up display, the sports mode is very nice because it gives you the RPM, uh, the speed of the car, of course, and the speed of the road, so the speed limit. Grip. To conclude this video, I just say my experience with this car is super positive it's a lovely lovely car to drive to sit to look at especially from the front maybe the back is gonna groan on me it's still not really my favorite part of the car so the car drives super good and it's the performance is there for a daily driver car it's more than you need believe me more than you need my only complaint about this car is the gas mileage i drove this car since i picked it up from the agency you know, in total driving, it's less than one and a half hours, maybe less than 100 uh, kilometers or 60 miles. And the gas mileage dropped from almost 400 plus, you know, kilometers to 110. And it keeps dropping. I see it every second, you know, 110, 109, 108, now 107. I mean, really, if you want to make this car sporty, and it is kind of sporty for a regular sedan, daily driver, comfortable. You must really work the mileage of the car because it's ridiculous how much the car drops, you know, in mileage. Now it's 106, by the way. Every couple of seconds, the mileage is dropping and I'm not driving super fast. Let me downshift now for you. So let's push it a little bit. Isn't this car supposed to be, you know, more economical and green than all the previous models? I mean, 3 Series, yes, in, a, in, in one hand, yes it is, but it's not at the same time. They want you to drive the car in normal mode at low speed or highways. 
if you want to push the car you know you have to fill it up every two days I can tell you every two days guys that's all what I can say lovely lovely car to drive looks good the interior is so good now it looks expensive sporty at the same time I love BMW interiors they are always my favorite from the back you have this nice AC vents you have a small screen that's very similar to the one in front you can put it in auto it's separated from the front guys with different uh, climate control huge two speakers on the doors with ambient lighting high high quality materials let me go through the interior with you this is the new instrumental cluster digital one that we saw on the x5 the m series the z4 across all the mw cars it looks fantastic the 12.3 inches is beautiful there's so much stuff that you can change I'm not gonna go through all the details, you're gonna see some reviews there for this similar interior in my previous videos. That's a new M steering wheel, it's thick, it's better than ever, the quality of the leather is fantastic, the pedals, all the buttons on the left side to control the cruise control. You don't have much aid like steering assist and stuff like that like other high-end models. You can increase and decrease the brightness of the interior by you know, flipping that knob here. And if you look at the mirror, you can see the triangle there on the top left. They copied that from Mercedes-Benz, which were, they were doing for a very long time. It was very effective, easy to see for this, you know, blind spot and very functional. Anyhow, the car doesn't come with soft leather. It comes with the you know, soft, uh, you know, I don't know what you call that, plastic. Uh, the leather is not the softest, but it's good enough. It's stitched as well. It looks good. There is a storage space here. You can open the boot and the trunk from here. You have the designated cup holder and more storage in the door. The pedals are aluminium now. The dashboard is good. They always have that hum uh, to cover the instrumental cluster, digital or analog, whatever it is. I like it a lot. I like the new AC vents. Uh, they look very good. My only complaint was the same on that part here. You know, it's very plasticky and it looks cheap. Uh, the, the mirrors are frameless. The cup holder's designs, it's thick, it's big, it's very nice. But when you look at it, it trips you because it's not real aluminium or metal. It's plastic. You press on it. The mechanism is great. They cover it in a, you know, a plastic. I don't know what we call that sticker or something. So it's not glossy. It doesn't scratch. I mean, that's good. But why don't you offer an option that this is will be a real metal instead of plastic? This is the gear lever, as we mentioned, plastic glossy black it's a bit strange because if you look at the whole interior guys there is nothing made from glossy plastic apart from that part here that covers the screen but it's not really glossy the only part is the middle part and the gear lever top part everything is in matte finish which is much better actually combination looking wise it's good traction control button you have the, the camera button here that it's really really high quality you have the parking assist button here you have park assist reverse assist too you know lots of tech in this car it's very very useful guys and what's cool about it if you press any you know button here you'll see the camera and different angles basically and if you you scroll left you will able to see the camera uh, or the car in 3d real life views and it's fantastic really Reverse assist, you put it in reverse mode, you engage the gear lever in reverse and the car is reversing back to you, <laughs> that's great. I think it goes up to 50 meters, there's 47 meters here, 46, so that's the limit. It memorizes the actual route that you came from and it goes all the way to the same point absolutely great look at this start and stop engine bottom in metal looks fantastic and much better place than here i like it here in the central console when you change different functions like for instance eco pro everything turns to blue you know even the central console the dash everything which is great in sports mode you're able to individually customize it and configure it basically this is my review for the 330i. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, share it with your friends. And if you did not subscribe to my channel, please do that.